I'm going to review today a suite of plugins that is available for Windows and Mac for restoration and noise removal called the Acon Digital Restoration Suite. It's plugins that are compatible with any program that supports things like audio units or VSTs and other types of plugin. In this case, on the Mac, you're going to focus on audio units. I say you, if you're a Windows user you can follow along as it is available for Windows as well. So you go to your audio units normally under a tab that says either filters or effects. Then you find the plugin section. Then you find the plugin and it has D click, D clip, D hum and D noise. Let's look at D noise. You have presets here such as dialogue, reduce AC noise, reduce broadband noise or reduce wind noise and a couple for music broadband noise or rumble reduction and reset the presets back to default. You then have reduction in decibels here, the maximum in decibels here, attack time milliseconds, release time milliseconds. You then have well of course your waveform stuff here but you also have noise profile so you can do adaptive and select broadband or combined. You can also do this, calculate the noise profile based on a segment containing only noise, which is the type of thing that if you're familiar with Audacity or Amadeus Pro, you can do in those programs. In Audacity, you can select area of just plain noise, learn the profile, then select all the area you want to apply it to and hit the button again, basically. That's what you do here, let me just show you. Learn from noise, you have that ticked first. You then want to select an area of just noise. Then go to audio units if you're on Mac, then denoise. Learn, stop, freeze profile, click here, select all the area you want to sort of apply it to, go back to the program which is under window again then apply as you can see the waveform did change in fact this has got very straight here let's play it back this is a test of the audio recording directly into Amadeus Pro on the Mac just for a sample now let's undo it and you see more here. Now in this recording you probably aren't going to be able to hear the noise because there isn't actually much there, but let's just play back some. This is a test of the audio recording. This is a test of the audio recording directly into Amadeus Pro. Alright, now let's bring it back up the window. Now we have adaption time in milliseconds here as well. You can also save and load your own user presets, which is quite handy. Clicking bypass will allow you to preview it without the filter, without the plugin on. Then you can untick it and play it and sample what it would sound like with it applied. Here you can also get to the save noise profile, help, about, and themes such as brush metal and about box as you can see it's 1.5.1 .1. let's just cancel out of that a minute let's go to effects let's take a look at the hum interestingly it's remembered my theme choice from the other plugin for presets it's a very similar interface to the denoise presets you have remove 50 hertz hum 60 hertz hum or reset the interface probably probably if you're in the UK you probably gonna have 50 hertz is more likely what you're gonna want to use or 60 in North America so let's select 50 hertz I don't think there's big hum problem in this sample but let's just apply it anyway we have frequency in hertz here and in, uh, in this case you can see it's 50 like the preset says or you can manually select sensitivity and percentage at the moment it's at 30 percent 
adaptivity, hertz, seconds, at the moment none, number of harmonics, 10 at the moment, you can apply only to odd harmonics, aggressive harm removal, and listen to remove signal, listen to signal that was removed during the denoise process, or notch filters are used in the aggressive mode, these affect the wanted signal as well, so you're best off not using it if you can get away with not using it. Let's just use the preset and apply it to the whole thing. I did see the signal, the waveform did change a little bit, so let's just play back a little bit now. This is a test of the audio recording directly into Amadeus Pro on the... This is a test of the audio record... I'm not sure if you could really hear any difference because there wasn't much hum in this anyway, but you did see the noise, uh, the waveform change slightly, so it did actually do something. Let's have a look at declip. I don't think this has declip problems, but let's take a look anyway. Reduce clipping at minus 12 decibels is one of the presets, and that is actually basically the only preset apart from reset the interface. All these pro uh, all these plugins allow you to save and load your own user profile, though. Now let's just reset a minute. Okay. This is a reset interface. You have upper threshold in decibels, lower threshold in decibels, a tick box to tick, link the two upper and lower thresholds, and the input gain in decibels. Then you have a histogram over here. Let's go to reduce clipping at 12, minus 12. Now let's hit apply and watch and see if the waveform changes. It didn't really change, and I think that's because there isn't really a clipping problem. But let's just see. This is a test of the audio recording directly into anyway, I don't really think that changed because uh, clipping wasn't really an issue with this. Now let's have a look at declick. You have presets again, repair light crackling. If you are converting a vinyl record to digital, there is a preset just for that called repair vinyl which I'm sure will be really good if that's what you're doing. Repair 78 RPM. Let's do reset first. You can enable declicker. Detect digital dropouts. It says enable or disable the detection of digital dropouts. This should be disabled if the recording does not contain clicks caused by dropouts. Click sensitivity. Click length in milliseconds. Enable decrackler. This bit here is for declicking, this bit is for decrackling. Crackle sensitivity and reduction. Listen to remove signal and both have their kind of histogram over here. Let's apply light crackling. Apply to the whole thing. No, the waveform didn't change much, but that's because I this suite is a real kind of uh, advanced suite for repairing badly damaged audio such as an old vinyl song you are converting to digital this is recorded with a USB microphone directly into a digital computer so it's not going to show how well the, pro the plugins work this is really made for repairing very badly damaged stuff although it is handy to have the denoise plugin because surprisingly a lot of audio editors don't seem to have a noise removal pro, uh, noise removal tool built in. Audacity, even though it's free, it does have a basic noise removal. So you select a sample of noise, then use that sample to apply noise reduction to your whole file or a whole patch that's badly affected. But Sound Studio on Mac, I know, and I know that uh, also also Twisted Wave on Mac doesn't have noise removal built in. So the only way to apply noise removal is to have a third party plugin and then go to audio units up here. This program isn't an example of that because this actually does. Amadeus Pro does have denoising and you can take a sample of the noise then apply it or you can use uh, some more advanced tools such as multiband denoising 
remove white noise, frequency band, DC offset and sensitivity settings. But if you're using a program such as Twisted Wave that doesn't actually have any noise removal tool built in, then having that denoised by Acon Digital is actually quite handy. The only thing I would say is if that's all you want it for, to remove some basic noise, it's not going to be worth the price. It is $100. You've got to want to pay that kind of money, or you're probably not going to want to pay that kind of money, but you're going to pay that kind of money if you're doing a lot of digital restoration, you know, analog restoration rather. So if you're taking like a vinyl record as a good example and repairing it, if all you want is a way to apply noise removal to a file in a program such as Twisted Wave or Sound Studio that doesn't support it built in, then I would look for a cheaper plugin or preferably a free plugin, which I can't really find. I can't really find any good free plugins like that. I'm not sure why, but I can't. Uh, the option really would be to just say, oh well, can't use that program and use either Audacity or Amadeus Pro. If you're on Mac, you can use either of those. If you're on Windows, you could use uh, Audacity or whatever the Windows equivalent is to Amadeus Pro, such as, it'd probably be cheaper just to get Audition, because at least with Adobe Audition, you're getting more than just noise removal. So I'd only really recommend this if you need to restore a lot of old files, you know, old analog files. If you're trying to do some restoration on that, definitely take a look at at least the trial of this plugin. Let's just quickly see if there's much difference here. This is a test of the audio recording directly into Amadeus Pro on the Mac, just for a sample. And before we finish up here, let's select some of the noise at the end, go to effects and see if this makes any difference by learning from noise then freeze apply that actually did make a big difference so let's play it back one more time so actually if you look at the waveform there it did change a lot even though I'd applied it previously by selecting the noise at the end I was able to remove even more noise and the audio didn't actually sound too bad from what I heard let's actually amplify it a bit and it will be a bit clearer this is a test of the audio recording directly into Amadeus Pro on the Mac just for a sample okay I've reset this file back to the basic recording the reason I want to do it is just out of interest I want to see how its de denoiser compares to Amadeus Pro's built-in option so let's select this this is pure noise let's go to effects denoising sample the noise file okay now let's apply now let's, look, let's apply to the whole thing suppress noise you did see that the waveform changed quite a bit this is a test of the audio recording. now uh, like before I am actually going to sample some from the end then I am going to now amplify by the same amount now let's see what it sounds like and 
I'll leave it up to you to what you think sounds the best for doing some basic denoising. This is a test of the audio recording directly into Amadeus Pro on the Mac just for a sample. Okay, so I'll leave it up to you to see what you think sounds the best. Okay, so I hope this has helped you by being able to take a look at what it does what it looks like, what features it has, and the pricing. Like I say, if you just need some basic noise removal, it's probably not going to be worth the price, but if you are wanting to take old analog files, such as analog music, vinyl records, whatever, and you want to restore them to better quality once you've converted it to digital, then it's really going to be worth you taking a look at at least the trial. A link will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and if you could do me a huge favour and subscribe as it will help me out a lot and it only takes a few seconds. Thanks.